see a wooden box in a deserted jungle in which a girl was imprisoned. To get rid of this prison, she had put all her strength to the point that her nails were broken. But finally, the box opened out of which she immediately ran to save her life. Her whole body was injured and there were stitches on her belly. After going a little far, suddenly a man from behind attacks her and makes her unconscious. When she came to her senses, she felt that her neck was tied to a tree. There is a light spot under the foot, which was made by this man standing in front of her. This man is a psychopath. He gets happiness by hurting people. This girl had to somehow get herself free and run away from here. She had only one blade for this work and for her self-defense. Surprisingly, the blade was not in her hand, but in her belly. However, this psychopath had not kept it in the girl's belly. If she had to save her life, then she had to bear a little pain. The girl, with a lot of courage, bearing the pain, tries to remove the blade from inside. Saying this, all her veins had come out. Finally, as soon as the blade is removed, the girl cuts the rope around her neck and frees herself. Immediately, the psychopath comes to her and asks her, Would you like to continue this game with me now? Thinking how much pain and torture he would have given her in the future, the girl answers him in the name and died with the gun on her head. After the scene on the other side, we see a girl named Hope, who was sitting with her daughter. In the next scene, we see Hope in the same wooden box in which a girl had run away before. Hope is also very injured like that girl. She also has stitches on her belly from where she was bleeding a lot. It is known that this man had kidnapped Hope from her house. Hope also tried to get out of this box, but she was useless in it. And when the psychopath found out about this, he himself took Hope out of this box. Here, the psychopath did not come in front of her. Hope thought of her daughter first. To find her, she ran into the jungle where she finds her daughter's daddy in the jungle. I don't know what happened to her. This thought was in Hope's heart. And as if she was crying, the psychopath comes from behind and hits her on the head and makes her unconscious. When Hope came to her senses, she was also tied to a tree like the first time. A small support that is a killing setup from the neck to the neck. Hope also sees a dead girl on a tree in front of her, which is obvious. She must have failed to get herself out of here and died because Hope had not done anything for a long time. The psychopath comes here and gives her a stick. Hope had understood that and removed the blade inside the belly. She might not have done this for herself, but she had to get free from here and find her daughter. Enduring all the pain for her daughter, she opens her legs through this stick and takes out the blade from her belly and frees herself from here. At this time, the psychopath comes to her and asks the first girl question that would you like to continue this game? For her daughter, she says yes to this psychopath without thinking. After hearing this, the psychopath again cuts Hope's belly and drags her to his camp. She was unconscious. When she regained consciousness, her legs were tied. When the psychopath gives her water, she drinks it like an animal because she has not eaten anything for the past five days. She asks the psychopath about her daughter. In response, the psychopath looks at her in anger and says, don't ever take your daughter's name again. Now your family is only me. Hearing this, Hope becomes restless. She asks the psychopath to let her go. Hearing this, the psychopath hits her in anger and tells her that from now on, you don't have a name. After saying this, he gave Hope potatoes to eat and went to his camp to sleep. Hope also fell asleep lying on the floor. In the morning, she woke up to the sound of the dishes falling in front of her. He was telling her to keep all the dishes clean before he came. She saw a knife attached to a tree in front of her. With the help of this knife, she could easily get herself free and fight the psychopath. She tries to take it, but the knife was a little far from her reach. To take it, she now uses a stick. Finally, the knife gets in her hand and then she hears the sound of the psychopath coming. She hides the knife behind her. The psychopath sits here and gives her a berry in the name of washing dishes. He was sitting very close to her. Hope could have killed him, but she didn't. And then the psychopath also notices that the knife in front of her is no longer there. This knife was actually Hope's test, which Hope had lost because of picking it up. Hope thinks that the psychopath has already found out about the knife. So why not attack him and run away from here? Hope attacks the psychopath with full force and smartness, but it doesn't help because the psychopath had easily killed Hope. He now kills Hope and threatens her with a knife on her leg that if she ever tries to run away or makes any such mistake, I will cut her leg from such a place that she will not be able to walk. As a punishment, he had now tied Hope's chain around her neck. Many days passed. Hope had now understood that she had no choice but to listen to the psychopath. 
The psychopath used to make her do all his work. He used to wash dishes, cook food, even the work of growing vegetables was given to Hope by the psychopath. Time passed. Hope finally grew flowers in the plants which made Hope very happy. And seeing this, the psychopath got angry. He breaks the flower and tells Hope to eat it. He forces Hope, but Hope cannot eat the flower. And then he says that those who cannot eat, what is the use of growing them? Now one day, he opens Hope's chain and brings her to the riverbank, where she thinks that she has to do something. I cannot stay here for long. I should win the trust of the psychopath to be free from here. Saying this, she comes back to her camp with the psychopath. In front of her eyes, she herself ties her chain around her neck and starts doing all her work. With these actions of Hope, the psychopath was also satisfied. He slept next to Hope at night, and when Hope woke up in the morning, the psychopath was still in deep sleep. She takes out the key and frees herself. After that, she picks up the knife and puts it on the neck of the psychopath. She wanted to kill him and run away from here, but she could not kill a person. When she could not do it, she put a cut on the psychopath's leg and ran away from there. The psychopath was also behind her. In the middle of the jungle, Hope found another box made of wood which contained her daughter's blanket and hair. She holds it and starts crying, and the psychopath comes from behind. This time she punished Hope very badly. She broke Hope's leg in such a bad way that her bone came out. After that, dragging her, she brought Hope to the camp and tied her neck with a chain. Hope was in a lot of pain, but this psychopath does not treat her. Instead, he hugs his wound given by Hope. After that, he says to Hope, I am going, you do all the work. Hope was screaming in pain. She says to the psychopath, please kill me. You do this work yourself. It was not so easy to kill yourself. She could not live in the dead. So using some nearby things, she starts her treatment. She puts her bone inside the flesh, gives it a wooden support and ties it as if she had made a plaster. She now did all her work with this broken leg. She hunted, cooked, and eight days passed like this. After eight days, the psychopath came back. This time he brought another girl with him. This girl was coming here and screaming very loudly. Hope refuses to scream. She says, I will help you, but for now do not scream. This girl does not listen to Hope. In anger, the psychopath takes out her tongue and throws it. Blood was coming out of her mouth quickly. She still did not stop screaming. Now the psychopath gives Hope work to make this new girl like him. He teaches her all the work. Now the psychopath keeps a knife test for this new girl. Obviously, if this girl picks up the knife, she would get a big punishment. Hope explains to this girl not to try to take the knife, it is a trap. This time, because of listening to Hope, she was saved from a big punishment. We see that flowers have grown again in Hope's garden. When the psychopath tries to break it again, this time Hope refuses him. Here we notice that the psychopath has started to listen to Hope, as if he has accepted Hope as his family member. He used to give Hope good food like his own, but not the other girl. The psychopath also wanted to make this girl a slave like Hope. But this girl was much smarter than Hope, and she was looking for a chance. One day when the psychopath comes to her, she fills a lot of stones in a sock and attacks him. While making him fall unconscious, she takes out the key of her lock from his pocket and frees herself. She also took out the key of Hope and gave it to Hope. After that, she runs away from here. But despite working so hard, her luck was not good because soon the psychopath was conscious and he runs after the girl and shoots her from a distance. When the girl did not die from the first attack, the psychopath had killed her by strangling her. Here on the other side, we see that Hope had also freed herself. She tries to run to the other side of the jungle, but because of the broken leg, she cannot run from here. And she comes back to the psychopath's camp, where this time she had decided that she would kill the psychopath at any cost. She had picked up an iron rod and her daughter's teddy from the psychopath's camp. At the same time, the psychopath had also come back here. His condition is now looking very strange. He tells Hope to kill him. Hope, who is already very angry at this psychopath, does not show any mercy this time and mercilessly hits the iron rod on his head again and again and kills him. And before this, the last word the psychopath had said was that it is dangerous not to go there. But Hope, who had served this psychopath for so long, did not intend to listen to the psychopath after his death. She takes her daughter's teddy and goes to the same side where she sees a hut in the middle of the jungle. She quickly goes near this hut, and when she looks inside, she finds her daughter here. Without thinking, she opens the door of this hut to save her daughter. When she opens the door, there is a small blast here. It turns out that the door was actually a trap. On the other hand, 
There were a lot of insects that were stuck in Hope's face due to the pressure of flying. In fact, both her eyes were also lost. She, who had come here to save her daughter, was about to die. This story ends here. Please tell us by commenting, how did you like the movie?